We see organizations get to use service robots more and more these days. It is also predicted that the pace with which organizations adopt robots will only increase in the coming years. For instance, the International Federation of Robotics discovered in 2019 that the number of sales for service robots increased by over 60%, and China is a leader when it comes to such robots. In this video, we will be showing you some of the best Chinese humanoid robots. China continues to make remarkable strides in making human journalists obsolete. State news outlet Xinhu announced that it had, in collaboration with search engine Sogu, created the world's first female AI news anchor, known as Xin Xiaomeng. The anchor will make her debut during the upcoming two sessions political meetings at the start of March. The announcement comes after Xinhu debuted the world's first male AI news anchor, Kui Hao, during China's annual World Internet Conference held in November in the town of Wuhan. Xin Hu and Sogu said that they also developed an improved male anchor called Xin Xin Hao, which is also able to stand up and gesticulate and has more natural mouth movements. Xin Hu has been experimenting with AI-driven journalism in recent years, including a robot reporter whose attempt to imitate a human went slightly awry. Jia Jia, a Chinese manufactured robot who resembles a young woman dressed in historical clothing, interviewed AI expert and Wired magazine co-founder Kevin Kelly at an event in Hefei in 2007. Jin Hu, which broadcast the chat live, billed Jia Jia as a special reporter. Jia Jia, however, clearly had a hard time responding naturally to many of the questions posed by Kelly, sometimes taking up to 10 seconds to answer and restricting herself to one or two word answers that didn't always make sense. Earlier in 2017, a 1.2 meter tall robot called Inspire served as an intern reporter for Xin Hu during the year's two sessions meetings. Xin Hu said that its robotic new employees have taken to the roles with enthusiasm and since launching in November have published some 3,400 reports totaling over 10,000 minutes in length. Have you ever seen something so human-like that it left an unsettled feeling in your stomach? You know that it's not a real human, but it looks and acts like one. Well, if you haven't, you are about to. The University of Science and Technology of China just created a humanoid robot so incredibly realistic that it walks the thin line that exists between familiarity and creepiness in the uncanny valley. Her name is Jia Jia, and she's got a wide array of features. She can interact directly with humans, answering questions that are asked to her. She can give micro-expressions when responding to questions or actions. During the press conference, someone from the audience tried taking a picture of her. Her response, don't come too close to me when you are taking a picture. It will make my face look bad. What also makes Jia Jia stand out so much more than previous models is that her eyes move freely around the room and her lip movements are synced almost perfectly with her speech. In total, the team took three years to complete the project and create Jia Jia into the robot woman she is now. The team hopes to fix and improve some specs for an updated model, a potential Jia Jia 2.0. They want to make her hands look less like a mannequin's and more versatile. She also can't cry or laugh, which are features the team hopes to add to the next model. They also want to make Jia Jia respond and connect to humans on a much deeper level. As she is considered a priceless invention, there are no solid plans to mass produce her yet. But maybe in the near future, we will be able to deeply connect with humanoid robots in our everyday lives. A Chinese artificial intelligence engineer has given up on the search for love and married a robot he built himself. Zhang Jia Jia, 31, decided to commit after failing to find a human spouse, his friend told Qian Jiang Evening News. Zhang had also become tired of the constant nagging from his family and pressure to get married, so he turned to a robot he built late last year named Ying Ying. After two months of dating, he donned a black suit to marry her at a ceremony attended by his mother and friends at the weekend in the eastern city of Hangzhou. While not officially recognized by the authorities, the union had all the trappings of a typical Chinese wedding, with Ying Ying's head covered with a red cloth in accordance with local tradition. China has one of the worst gender gaps in the world, mainly due to gender-selective abortions after the introduction of the country's widely criticized policies, which for decades controlled how many children each family could have. There are 113.5 men for every 100 women in China, according to the latest figures published by the World Economic Forum. 
The gender imbalance, coupled with changing attitudes towards marriage among the country's middle class, means many men will never find wives. For now, Ying Ying can only read some Chinese characters and images and speak a few simple words, but Zhang plans to upgrade his bride to be able to walk and do household chores. Until then, he has to carry the 30-kilogram robot to move her. Reactions in China to the union has been mixed, with some social media users mocking Zhang and others wondering if it is all a publicity stunt. You won't have her mother looking down on you. You don't have the pressure to buy a home, and you get to save money and energy, one user wrote on WeChat, a popular social network. He'll slowly get old, his face will become wrinkled, and his hair will grow white. But will he upgrade her to grow old, or just to be prettier, another user asked. Stories of robots replacing humans is commonplace in China, most notably in a smattering of restaurants where the waiters are automated. China's rise in robotics has been a great development. The EX Future and Science Museum in the Chinese city of Dalian shows off advanced forms of robotic technology aimed at making robots as customizable and lifelike as possible. According to a tour of the museum's research and design center, published by the Chinese state-linked media channel CGTN, the technicians at the museum can scan features and limbs to create dynamic 3D robots. The skin is made of medical-grade bionic silicone, and the goosebumps on the skin, the veins on the feet, and the palm lines, they're all very realistic, the museum's vice president, Yang Jianggu, told CGTN. In a clip posted on YouTube, a journalist has her facial features scanned to customize an android of her own. Parts of her body are then 3D printed. The video shows her controlling the movements of the 3D printed robot limb via a wearable glove. The museum's robots have also ventured outside of its compound. In a video uploaded to Facebook in November, one of the museum's robots wears a face shield and guides people to COVID-19 test sites. The museum, which opened in September 2021, also features robots modeled after Albert Einstein and Steve Jobs. The two robots are featured in a promotional clip for the exhibit uploaded in February, waving and wishing visitors a joyous Chinese New Year. China has in recent years taken steps forward in the artificial intelligence industry, even creating lifelike and wildly popular AI idols to helm marketing campaigns. The country also deployed a host of robots during the Beijing Games, with robotic chefs preparing meals and robotic waiters lowering food onto tables. That's all for today's video. Please like and subscribe to get more content like this. Also, click on the notification bell to get notified when we upload in the future.